Leo and welcome to your April 2016 tarot reading. My name is Nikki. Before I begin, I'd like to remind you that this is a general reading for all Leos. So if you are looking for something just for yourself, just for yourself, you can visit my website. It will be linked in the description below. I do tarot readings for $15 and there are other offers and deals on there including palm readings. So if that is something you're interested in, um, go ahead and check that out. Okay, and also before we begin, I'd like to uh, point out the gemstones above the cards. The larger gemstone to the left, that is an imperial topaz. Topaz just happens to be the uh, mystic birthstone for April, and that is why I'm resonating with it. It's a wonderful stone to improve memory and uh, any kind of mental functions. It also has a lot of other healing properties that I cover on my video that I've made for Topaz. So if you're interested in learning more about Topaz, you can watch that video. It's only a couple minutes long and um, it covers a lot of information about it. And I will also link that in the description below so you can find that a lot easier. Okay, so laid before you is your monthly spread. You have all upright cards and, um, and it goes week by week. So for the first week of April, you have the Three of Stones, or the Three of Pentacles. Okay, the Three of Pentacles is all about working on a project. So um, if you're not physically working on some kind of project right now, you're at the very, at the very least, you're thinking about it. The wheels are turning. You're getting these, these ideas, and um, and you're going to be wanting to start to work on this project very soon if you're not already. So, um, and, and, and for some of you, this may be a card that represents the finishing product of that, that project. You may be finishing that project up and, um, and, you know, wanting to, um, turn it in or uh, show others or, or whatever it is that you do with your project. Um, and, and of course there are a multitude of different kinds of projects that you could be working on. But yeah, this is all about um, accomplishment and working hard and being proud of what you're working on um, and wanting others to be proud of you. And this is something that is usually job related. This is something, and if it's not job related, it could still bring in money. That's, that's usually the hopes is that um, this can uh, boost your uh, finances in some way. Now, if, uh, if it's not money that you're looking forward to, you know, getting out of this project, it is at the very least recognition um, from others. For the second week of April, you have the Two of Stones, or the Two of Pentacles. Um, and, and like that bear on that stone, you know, he's kind of doing a balancing act there, trying to hop to the next stone. Um, <laughs> you're juggling a lot. So um, whatever the project is that you're working on, if you haven't finished it up by the second week, you're probably trying really hard to get it done because um, you got a lot that you're juggling at this time in the second week. There's a little too much on your plate. Now, you're doing a pretty good job. I mean, you're not, you're not completely losing your balance here, but um, you know, you might want to uh, look at your schedule and try to, um, you know, schedule things wisely, make time for yourself, time for your family, time for your friends, this type of thing. You don't want to take on too much to where you become overwhelmed or imbalanced. And, and this is probably a time that you could, you know, you need to look over your finances as well. Just to make sure all your ducks are in a row and everything is where it should be. For the third week of April, you have the Three of Spirals, or the Three of Wands. Okay, this is all about um, enterprise and business sense and working with others. And so, you know, I feel that whatever you were working on in this first week, um, whatever that project was, it was probably for monetary gain or for your career or job or whatever. And in this third week, um, you're you're in like a waiting period. Um, you know, you're either waiting to hear back from other people or you're waiting for the money to come in or you're waiting for some kind of results, um, some kind of collusion, conclusion to this. 
Um, this could also be a time where you are asking for help because in the second week obviously you have a lot that you are juggling um, so help may come in by the third week and take some of that off of you in the last week of April you have Cali or the tower this is a, this is a, a it, it can seem like a negative card but in reality the tower is a very positive card um, the tower, it does symbolize a bit of destruction, but it's usually not a, um, a physical destruction. It's usually um, tearing, the tearing down of what we need to get rid of in our lives. It's usually some kind of truth being shown to us, breaking down the walls of illusion and, and helping us grow into, um, into a, you know, a new reality, a better reality. Um, and and, a, and to have a better sense of ourselves and who we are. So, um, it, it, you know, not to say that this could not mean something physical or literal. It could. There could be some kind of, um, you know, uh, there could be a, a, a house fire or a fire of some sort. There could be, um, you know, a, the physical coming down of a building or a structure of some sort. That is very possible. But for, you know, the majority of you, this is going to be something that is um, not literal and it is more of tearing down of ideals. Ideals that don't suit us any longer. Um, ideals that are keeping us in a stalemate or in a rut. Um, it's tearing down the illusions of, of what we've created around us and showing, and showing us what we need to know to move forward in our lives. So. Um, so in reality, this is something good. And, and if there is anyone out there who, you know, this, this comes to fr fruition in a literal way, um, it, it will work its way into a positive outcome. You know, even if it is negative and at the time being, Cali or the tower, it always works its way into, um, into positivity. So have faith and stay strong, hang in there. Okay, so that is your reading in its entirety, Leo. I hope that you found it helpful. If you did, please remember to push that like button and subscribe because I do this every single month. And I will look forward to talking to you all again next month. Bye-bye.